Hi friends, welcome back. So I just saw the documentary on Netflix called BitCon, and uh, I'm just gonna tell you flat out, I really like the movie and I think you should see it. Um, every now and then I talk about movies on this channel. The last one I did was Tetris, which I think you should see that one too. Um, but uh, BitCon is an interesting one because the documentary and um, they had uh, a lot of cooperation from the people involved and have like lots of crazy inside interviews, which you don't get that much, especially involving cryptocurrency and criminal activity <laughs> you heard that right so I, the whole time i watched this I was like how did you get these people to talk to you um and this is sort of what, what makes the the movie stellar um now there's there's, there's a couple things i want to say when we go through this uh, one uh, this is very very light spoilers so don't worry if you haven't seen it i'm not really going to spoil anything uh and two um if, if you follow my youtube channel you'll know i do all kinds of things i do news sometimes i do you know, stocks sometimes i do cryptos general news etc um but when i make videos about crypto scams uh, particularly FTX, those tend to be the most popular videos. People like to talk about this stuff. And um, I think this one is really fascinating, this, this BitCon show, um, because it really gives an inside look on how these kind of companies work. Um, this is the, uh, the main guy, and um, essentially he just sits down and, and tells his side of the story, um, but there's more, more than one side. And um, you know, if you if you want to hear about like how a guy like really likes money, likes to get sports cars, like this kind of life. And it's funny because when I was, when I was watching it, um, you know, there's the money, this kind of stuff and he gets the girls, right. This kind of thing. Um, when I was watching, I, I was thinking about how there are so many young men out there that essentially want to be the con guy that essentially want to be in, in the sports cars and they'll do anything that it, that it takes to get that lie as many people as it takes and cheat as many people as, as you can these kind of things because the more people you lie to the more people you cheat the more money that you get and it, and it's fun right i, I get that right um and, and i think that when, when you see a, a behind the scenes of how this world works and the kind of people that are involved with this stuff i think it just really opens opens your eyes right the one thing that that i that i don't like about these kind of movies and this is for any one of these these kind of movies is you always veer off into you don't want to sensationalize the fancy cars and the girls and the money too much because it just inspires more people to be criminals uh and, and, I, and I laugh about that because I, I i i mentioned that so many times on this channel whenever i make movies about or uh, videos i should say about the the scammers out on youtube and stuff like that there's always people defending said scammers and when you watch this kind of thing you kind of see why because literally this main character he's like say hey ever since i was a kid i wanted just wanted money and that's all i care about is money <laughs> and, and and many people on youtube kind of preach those kind of messages that hey money is the most important thing etc um it, it's bothersome but you know when you see this kind of stuff and, and it's bitcoin you kind of see where it comes from the kind of people who are involved in these things moreover which i think is really important for uh people out there is this really shows how dangerous the, the financial world is um, and moreover, sadly, people just willingly trust these uh, scam artists. I don't know how to, to call them or fraudsters or connivers, etc. cetera. Um, but you got to see the whole thing for yourself because it, it, the way things play out, this is why I won't tell any spoilers, it, it is a lot of twists and turns. And uh, it's, it's comical, actually, to be perfectly frank. I was laughing through this and I had to like pause it, rewind it. Like, did they really say that? Did they really do that? <laughs> and sometimes it's, it's one of those stories where it, it's so unbelievably crazy how much money was coming in and all the stuff that was going on. Um, you just got to see it for yourself. Now, the other thing that's really cool about this movie, um, and, and, and again, I want to I, I want to preference this like, before I say anything else at all, is um, another thing that they don't like about these kind of movies is they they don't they they show a little bit but not as much as, as we really need to they don't show all of the people that they hurt this is something that's a big a big problem it's like a wolf on wall street movie that's the dinar caprio one um where uh, you know all the kids want to be the wolf of wall street uh, and they want to you know have the fancy cars they want to do drugs they want to um you know sleep with margot roby this kind of thing that's what the kids dream about um but but what they don't show in these kind of movies is like all the people that they that they hurt um, they, they talked to a few people about, you know, being hurt and how do you feel these kind of things, but just not enough. So I just wanted to mention that. Um, and, and this is something that I, I try to do so much on the channel just emphasize over and over and over again, don't idolize these kind of criminals, um, because they are stealing from people. And, and I don't think that that's sort of shown enough in the media. And I also too, I just want to share with you during the whole FTX fiasco, the whole crypto scam stuff, uh, actually reporters from the wall street journal, New York times business insider, uh, not Bloomberg though, but they didn't contact me. Uh, Wired Magazine contacted me, but they actually specifically asked me, "Hey, you know, Chris, can you help us find victims of crypto scams that are willing to tell their stories 
uh, to the press. And this is, if you can understand this, I mean, think how hard it would be to find people t- that are willing to say, hey, you know, I lost thousand dollars due to, you know, me, Kevin or Jeremy, or, you know, whoever scammer we want to talk about on this channel. And, and this is something that why I just want to explain why they don't include these kind of things in these stories, because it's hard to find people who are willing to talk about it. It's, 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 it's shameful. It's embarrassing. It's also um, a horrible tragedy. Just think of it this way. This happens with these kind of people. And I want to, and actually what I'm trying to picture here, this is the, this is the guy's mom. Uh, he was, she, she was full cooperation to interviews, which is crazy. They even got his grandmother to <laughs> interview as well. And, um, this is why I think the, the, the movie really stands out is because they have so many insiders like tell their side of the story and you get just, you get to hear it from their own words. But, but the, the, the reason why I'm, I'm showing this guy, right. And he's all smiling in a sports car and stuff like that is they, they really make it clear how these people will just take everything from you. Right. And they'll smile on the way doing it. And in fact, they'll be, you know, on meds the whole time or drugs, basically the whole time. And, and it's funny because when I when I was watching through this stuff, it just made me realize, like, I'm sure there's multiple YouTubers out there that promote crypto and stuff like that. They're that on something they, they have to be um, because they, they, they deep down know that they're thieves, basically. Um, but, you know, if you take the meds and you have your fancy car, that's how you kind of live with yourself. Um, the, the sad thing is though, is that people do get hurt. So I just want to make that really clear in, in this kind of movie. Um, the other thing too, which I really liked about the movie is they also showed how like each person had a different role to play, uh, in the company. Cause this is a company, um, it is, uh, it was called Centra. Uh, this was back in 2017. And, um, it's interesting because, um, it, it has a direct uh, mirror, uh, to today. Um, you know, what are we now in 2024? And it's really interesting. This is seven years later. And it's, it's really interesting because back then it was the Wild West and even today it feels like the Wild West, um, but things have changed a bit to where now Wall Street's like full on board with the Bitcoin ETF. If you guys know, we just talked about that uh, before and um, they'll all outright scam you, you know, people on Wall Street. And, and sometimes people don't realize that. Like say when you turn on CNBC and like, you have someone saying, hey, you gotta, you know, buy this Bitcoin mining thing. And I literally just did a video on, on Larry Jones pumping a Bitcoin miner or, hey, you gotta buy this new token or, hey, you gotta buy this whatever. Um, people will blatantly lie to your face. It's it's crazy, and so uh, so this is sort of why I, I, I hope it make it clear when we're talking about this movie. I guess why you should see this one. It, it goes through sort of how the scams work. Uh, goes through the kind of people who do the scams. Uh, goes through the family members of said people, their upbringing, kind of you know how they justify this stuff to themselves, uh, and and also to just sort of like what's the right word to say it. Um, how about this? It, it goes through sort of like how our whole system works to allow this kind of stuff to happen and why maybe it will continually happen and moreover um, why people like myself or, or, or people like you watching my, my videos etc i need to make sure that we speak up um, when we when we see possible scams out there and shady activity uh, because the, the perfectly frank it's so widespread the sec does not have the man or people power to say not manpower just because more than just men that work there just they don't have the people power to, to, to chase after all the criminals. They, they don't. There's just too much of it. And and, and, I, and I think when you see this movie, you'll, you'll, you'll get a sense of, of, of why that is because there's, there's just so much and so many so many different people's money is on the line and people can get bribed in any number of, of, of ways. Uh, it's, it's just a, a crazy world. And so um, I, I think the main lesson when you watch this kind of stuff, and I highly recommend it, especially if you watch my channel and you, you enjoy financial content, is um, it, it'll allow you to sort of understand the world a little bit better told through the, the 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 eyes of the people who you know went through this stuff and uh moreover the more information you get and the more that you learn from other people's experiences um you'll learn to protect yourself so that's something i say all the time on this channel right um, i try to give you as much information i can so that you can be informed and and uh, overall have a better life so you know one part of at least in this day and age 100 percent is avoiding these kind of people these uh, uh, uh crypto scammers so um, there's so many crazy things that happened in this movie that it's absolutely uh, unreal. So I recommend Bitcoin. Um, it just came out on January 1st and on Netflix. I don't want to Netflix anything. I'm just saying I like the movie and I recommend it for you to see it as well. So um, after you've seen it, please write in the comments what you thought. I'd love to hear and uh, I'll catch you next video.